All right, go, 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 go. Jump through the thing. Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh my god! Guys, so welcome to Hardcore Iron Man episode two. I'm Miss Alvarez. I'm going to quickly start off this video. I'm actually uploading number one as I record this, so I'm a bit laggy, laggy, which isn't good as a Hardcore Iron Man. So I'm just going to get some normal lessons here, just do a bit of normal mining. It's probably not efficient, you know, doing it at level 5, probably should do some quests, get higher mining to pure or something, then do it. Better pickaxe, blah, blah, blah. Maybe not do it at all. Maybe it's more efficient to make money and then buy runes. Who knows? But because I'm lagging, this is something I thought I could just quickly do. So we're going to do a bit of this. And I guess you do need those first rune crafting levels. But once again, you can probably skip past those first few of the quests. I don't know. Leave me alone. I'm just going to do some. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing this and then we'll get into some combat and stuff, some fun stuff. Some bloody spooky quests. What do you reckon? Okay, I can straight up die now. He just hit me like four sixes in a row. I'm gonna have to run in a sec. Let's see what happens. Fuck off, Delrith. Can I just fight you right now? Seven HP, okay. No prayer. Okay, thank God. I should be fine. What about when I finish this and then I'll be like in this area with all the things. How much commentary have I put into this minutes wise? Oh, 3 HP. Okay, I'm actually fucking terrified now as a hardcore Iron Man. <laughs> Shit, okay, I'm getting ready to, I can literally, if like a level 21 hits me, it can hit me 6 HP right now. So I'm getting ready to teleport away. So I'm talking about go 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 go. Don't your fireball come over here, boy. Oh, I could have actually died there. That is ridiculous. Oh, that, okay, that's the closest part of my hardcore Iron Man so far. Jesus Christ. I didn't even get any attack levels from that. I did the whole point because I thought you got a lot of attack XP for that. Fucking, that was worth it then. Alright guys, may as well follow the crab. We're going to be doing the RD Easy Diary to get the RD Cloak, which gives a bit of stab, bit of mage bonus. I don't think that's important. The important part is to get the teleport to RD, which is going to be really helpful. So we're going to quickly go pickpocket some hand members to get the Rusted Sword. And then I think we have to do two quests. Um, by, I think there's one of them, Biohazard. I think it might be, which is Biohazard. It's not the one where you need to use the coal machine, is it? That's regicide and then the quest after that. I'm not 100% sure, though. But if you need to use that coal machine, where the fuck am I going to get coal? Also, I just... I can't believe I've done that. That's the first time I've done that. Oh, my God. I went to the RS3 hand member entrance instead of the old school one. Oh, no. This game has fucked me. Nah. My, my brain is turning into an RS3 brain. I don't like it. Go back. Oh. <laughs> I failed a pickpocket. I got caught. I failed a pickpocket. And then the first successful pickpocket, a rusty sword. Hmm. <laughs> cool if we actually got like a good sword for this uh iron long sword no but there we go rd diary that uh done now let's have a quick look at what we need no, sorry that's not the rd diary down it's just one of the things now we go do the rest of this thing go out on the fishing trawler that's where i am right now i think i can just click this i'm not exactly sure how the fishing trawler works i've done the rd cloak before though on other accounts so i must have figured it out <laughs> let's see if i can remember again i'm on the fishing trawler i think i just wait i'm not 100 percent sure hasn't ticked it off. It says it's going to leave in one minute. So I think we just wait until it leaves and then we just bail out. Here we go now. Let me get the fuck off the trawler. All right, go, 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 go. Jump through the thing. Go, 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 go. Come on. Oh my god. I'm on the wrong world. No, they're Dankalade. Oh, look. There's my other account that I searched there first. Whew, that was scary. Take food method, guys. You just pickpocket the guns. Not sure what level you need, but you get triangle sandwiches, which heal six. So that's pretty crazy, I think. If it lets me pickpocket them from him. Okay, you won't... That's pretty crazy, guys. Crazy. All right, I got to do uh, Plague City and Bio has a fucking lag and, like, incredible. Lucky I don't think anything requires combat here. Funny about this, what I love Jax is, like, humor. This note is written by someone who's drunk. But the best part is, it's meant to be, like, a character, like, I don't know. Um, there's meant to be drunk, but it's got a five in there. <laughs> For grass. Amazing. Quick quest. Ooh, 2k, 204k mining. Quest point. Oh, nice. 18 mining. I can do iron and stuff. Um, is iron 15 or 20? I feel like it's 15, but fuck no. Yeah, it's 15. Cool. Um, now, the interesting part here is that we now have to do biohazard, which I think is a bit fucking annoying. You don't need gas mask, priest gown, top and bottom, rotten apple. Must be obtained during the quest. Okay. This one where you got to, like, walk with the thing, right? And the sample and all this bullshit. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. 
And I got no teleports. I think you can bank and teleport. I don't have any teleports anyway, so... Also, you can't get hit or you'll break it. Well, I think you can bank the stuff and then get hit. Who knows? We'll figure something out. It's going to be a bit of a dick, though. Go upstairs and kill a mourner. All right, man. I forgot my fucking combat equipment, so... <laughs> I pro To be fair, I probably could have just kicked him to death, but, you know... Just better just 100% make sure I don't actually die here. That being said, I suck at safe spotting. So I'm gonna die anyway. There you go. Fucking hell. I can just bank him and then just home teleport to... And then go to drain, I'll be fine. He's so upset if there's something like aggressive around here. <laughs> like some, I don't know, or I misclick a goblet or something. The runescape isn't WoW, but one of the general rules on WoW is, not 100%, is that if you follow the roads, the monsters don't come onto the roads. So, let's see if RuneScape plays the same. Alright, I should be fine then. Mm, what do you have to say for yourself, you bloody fool? There's no plague? What do you mean there's no fucking plague? Yeah, there's a plague, I saw the plague, and that's why the whole thing, uh, I don't understand, mate. What do you mean there's no fucking plague? This is some regicide's gonna go down here. I'm gonna go for underground pass, I'm gonna kill your fucking brother, your sister, mother, and we're gonna take the crown, we're gonna take the kingdom of Miscellania. Um, and yeah, there we go, thieving. That's what that chat was, guys. I was clicking through it real fast, but that is word for word, no fucking joke, what was said in that dialogue. All right, there we go, buyer has it done. We just have to go in that camp and we have the thing complete. The uh, easy diaries. A lot of hardcore Iron Men are gonna be here uh, for these Chaos Druids because they're not gonna risk the ones in Edgeville because it's in the wilderness. <laughs> Fuck, man. That's gonna be a hot spot if you wanna be a little PK trying to dick on hardcore Iron Men, going to the Chaos Druids in the wilderness, like under Edgeville. T then, guys, we're gonna complete what everyone else completed on day one in on their first videos and they're all like 40 combat and shit. Man, I feel so bad. I hope you guys just watch these for entertainment because they're not guides and they're not like, don't follow along. Well, I guess you can follow along, but you know, it's not a cheat, um, efficient or anything like that. Can I have another cloak? Oh, I didn't realize I got one. Cool. Dope. Look at that. Um, just if you want to see what this actually gives you. It is 2 plus magic, 2 plus slash. Oh, and pray. I didn't realize it's prayer, but the important part is I'm not going to use it now, but teleport you to the monastery. All right. Here, so you can restore your prayer real quick, um, and you're also close to Artie, which is useful as heck. Um, so that's good. Also, a lamp. Um, it's gonna, is it going to scale or what? Oh, I need to be 30. Can I use it on anything then? I well, okay, I can't even use it. That's funny. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the Tree Gnome Stronghold, and we're going to train a bit of agility to whatever level it is, and then you swap over to like the rooftop courses. That kind of thing. Um, and then we can do... We're going to do Vampire Slayer. Well, we're going to do Grand Tree, Vampire Slayer, all that. Just some easy quests for more XP, uh, combat-wise. And then probably even fucking Waterfall, which is going to be dangerous. But yeah, first we're going to have to get some agility levels. Do your randoms, guys. Rick Turpentine, just talk to him. Gave me 640 coins. Pyro gives more than the other little things. So obviously you get all the XP for the end one. Alright, anyway, this is going to be 10 agility. Which means we can now go to... Draenor, which is surprising, because I didn't realize it was so low. I think I made the mistake on my pure uh, Dankalade when I was training agility. I trained, like, all the way here to, like, 25 or 20 or something, because I didn't realize they were so low. Like, look, it's 10 and 20, stuff like that. It's so, like, well spread out. Like, it's so little. Like, you don't spend... Like, I spent, like, fucking less than 10 minutes here, and now I'm 10. So, yeah, we can go to whatever that was, uh, Draenor now, which is awesome. 10 agility. 10 ability. We also hit a 200 total level. We're at 201. Nice. Every time I give myself a heart attack, I will press home teleport. I'll look away. I'll end up looking away for a minute. I come back. I'm at Lumbridge because of home teleported. But I'm like, oh my fucking god, I died. <laughs> but no, I'm just home teleported. <laughs> All right, let's. I just got home from work, which means it's perfect time for agility. With 20 agility, we can move on now. E 25 agility. Think I'm going to go to bed, and when I wake up, we will do. Some quests and stuff. I know, like, there's nothing gone on. Uh, what have I done today? Oh, I got the arty cape, you know, like, don't compare me. You, you'll be fine and you enjoy the videos if you don't, like, compare me to other YouTubers. Then that's cool. Because, you know, other than that, I'm doing complete cunt. But I'm having fun and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Alright, it's Tree Gnome Villag time. I can't believe I've already got a heavy ballista on my bloody hard crime, man. That's incredible. The other question is, can I safe spot the big fucker over here? Um... Lord Mr. Kazadi. Oh. Not if these wolves can fuck me, let alone the actual, like, boss. Alright, I think you have to, like, save sword him behind, uh, like, a lower... One. Um, look at this lag as well. Um, This is the end of my hard crime, man, guys. I'm so sorry. Alright, Warlord, let's see if we can get him behind these trees or something. Hopefully. I think you can, like... Oi! Oi! What are you doing, mate? 
Hell yeah. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> a nine? Okay, I'm actually dead. I'm actually dead. Like, straight up gonna die here. Like, I'm not even kidding. I think I might die. I don't know, like, how, where you can safe spot it here. So you can do like, this, like, flinching thing. Why do you want to fucking run away, man? So I like that he hit a, like, a 9 or whatever, and I was on 6 HP where he actually could have killed me. That's pretty funny. If you get stuck behind a tree or something, you little shit. Stop being so lazy. Wait, what's, what about these bones up here? Are you going to stop behind these bones? <laughs> All right, if uh, I'll look it up in a second, like look where the safe spot is, because surely there is one. Oh <gasps> no! Thought I had something there. Okay, it's like this flinch and reset spot. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. I should be able to just do it if I keep on running from him. And he keeps on like slowly resetting, and then I get damage on him as he's running, but his HP doesn't change. So yeah, it's gonna take forever, but hopefully I can get it. Now this is the correct method, but like, I attack him, he resets, get a few hits on him, he tries to come back for me, I walk over here, he'll come here, he's like, oh no, I'm not coming back! And then you yeah, just keep on rinse and repeating, and just make sure like you run past here if he tries to attack you, and he'll just run away like a little bitch. But his health doesn't reset, so you're gonna keep on hitting him down slowly. Yeah, there's Mr. Alaris's terrible safe spot. I'm sure there's a proper one you can actually do, but that's what I've done and it's worked. Got our bloody balls. Should be quest complete here. This isn't a requirement for Grand Tree, I don't think. I always thought it was, but I don't think it is. Um, anyway, um, blah, 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 attack XP. So I tuna. I love tuna. Gimme, 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 gimme. Can I, can I use the spirit tree now? Is that how it works or no? Anyway, we'll see in a sec. Thank you, Kingy. Come on. Hell yeah. 11k attack XP, no amulet protection. Now that's just like a purely cosmetic thing. Oh, 35 attack, nice. Pretty sure that's purely cosmetic, right? Or does it actually give a little bit of defense bonus something? Look how much I'm lagging, I'm playing high crime, man. It's always going to be hard. Oh, yeah, 13 plus in all defense. I'll take that, actually. Hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. I can use this, though. Antique lamp. Finally on something. Probably stupid to do, but whatever. Yay. Take a little bit more attack XP. Nice, they're at 36. Cool, man. I reckon we're going to do that. We're going to do the Grand Tree. And then we're going to do Waterfall, and we're going to be at like a 46 attack, and I might just buy, like, try to get a rune I say buy, have to try to get a rune skim. And I might just train, I'll have like 30 strength as well, and I might just train like at 30 strength with a rune, uh, I mean a rune sword rather or something. Maybe I'll kill fire giants actually, so we'll have Waterfall. But apparently that's pretty inefficient, it's just quicker to buy a, a rune sword from a shop or something, but I want to kill fire giants, seems fun. But we might do that, then once we get a rune skim, just train straight to like 60 attack. Even though we'll have like 40 strength, it'll be funny, but then we'll be able to get dragon weapons. That may be the idea. Look at fucking lag. Yeah, this is great. I look pretty dope though. Got a nice little outfit going, eh? Hell yeah. All right, let's do at least the Grand Tree and Waterfall, I reckon. Well, I can use the Spirit Trees. Great, that's handy. And get to Varok that way as well. It might be quicker, actually, to get the Varok to use... Oh, no, I've got that. Okay, anyway, though, I could go to that, then through there, then the tree. Anyway. You guys know it's about to get bloody dangerous. I mean, it's safe spot behind the rocks. Every other time I've done it in the hallway, but I'm not sure if that's R3 or what. So I guess we'll try behind the rocks, but hopefully we don't get one shot. We've got 26 HP. I think our lag has subsided a little bit. So yeah, let's hope we don't fucking die. All right, let's go, let's go, let's do this. What rocks, what, what rocks? Rocks here, maybe? These rocks? This rocks. Oh, there, that's easy. That's where he's safe spotting it. Oh. Oh. So it's like, no. There we go. Cool. I got Fire Strike. May, we, may as well use that to quicken it up, but I'm going to run out of air runes probably probably before I kill him, and then, you know, I'll just slowly air strike him down with just my air staff and mine runes. I wasn't paying attention, but I guess I defeated him. Um, he's not here anymore, so I hope that means that's what happened. <laughs> yeah. Quest complete here. Let's see what we got. What we got? Come on, give us the fucking XP, you cheeky. Yeah. Oh! Oh, it's magic, agility, and attack XP. That puts us at 42 attack, 31 agility, 26 magic. Nice. My name is Manu, and it is time to die. <laughs> oh, please don't die. 
Oh my goodness. He's hit me eight. Hey, Mossy Giant. Since when are Moss Giants level 84? You should be like level 32. That's actually, are they actually like higher level Moss Giants? I never even thought about that. Holy fuck. Oi. I don't know why I dropped my amulet there. I want to, but I don't know why I dropped it over here. Just to fuck with myself a little bit more. Yeah, no, these are like higher level, aren't they? They're fucking mage in me, for God's sakes. I didn't even real. I never thought about that in my whole fucking life. I knew that they hit tens and they were a bit of a dickies, but are they actually different to oh thirteen? <laughs> Jesus! No wonder you don't do this at low level. Christ! Out we go. Oh wait, wait, thirteen. He can kit that then. Out we fucking go. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! Fucking hell. Gonna go last part of the quest, gonna put on our fucking tanky gear to do it, you know? I still can't get over how sick that looks. It looks so good. I think having a little bit of the music in here. Maybe turn it down a little bit. Just a little bit of something. I also should have it for when I'm doing combat and stuff so I can hear myself getting hit. If, you know, I'm not paying enough attention, that would be good. Alright, go, 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 go. Alright, so we want to grab the key from here. I think what I'm going to do after, I'm going to make a little bit of money somehow. I uh, don't know how. But then we're going to um, probably... Kill fire giants just for fun, and we want to get that rune skim. It seems like it's like not efficient. It's probably better to buy like a rune sword somewhere, like I said before. But it seems like fun. It just seems like something you should do. Also, where's my bloody key? Give me my key. It's one of these. Got it. All right. Oh jeez. Right, it's level forty-five. Sneaky bloody skeleton. Feel good to get that rune skim. Oh my. See, look, there's one right there. That's pretty hardcore, man. Don't attack the rat, race, you idiot. Get through the bloody door. Yeah, door's locked, that's why I use the key, mate. Go on hand with this bloody Rune Halberd. Jesus. I don't think he's a hardcore, but he could be a... No, never mind, he's Amulet. Oh no, Amulet could have it from a clue. Combat bracelet, I doubt it. But you never know, people like train very fucking quick in this game. The big nerds, you don't know what's going on. Get scared doing this part. Put the urn in the chalice. There you go, don't grab it. There we go, 27k XP. All right. 13... Oh, what am I talking about? I don't know. But two gold bars, two diamonds, and some mithril seeds, which you can sell. Oh, yeah, you can sell to the shop, get a few K there. Nice. Dope. Hell yeah. Cool, but yeah, like if you like it, subscribe and see more. See you guys next video, where we're going to be doing um, probably a little bit less questing, but try and make some money um, and do a bit of mage training and stuff like that. Probably kill some fire giants. That should be fun. So, yeah, 33 combat. Um, 23 quest points, 266 total level, finally done what everyone did on day one, hell yeah.